Hi, good afternoon everyone. Hope you had a relaxing bank holiday weekend. Not a lot in the way of big companies reporting results today, but we are on the edge of summer, so things do slow down a bit. The FTSE 100 down about eight points so far today at 6,262, although it was up a quarter of 1% first thing, so things could change. Plenty of action among smaller companies listed in London though, and they're often more interesting from an investment point of view. Not only because the price movements can be huge in either direction, not necessarily a good thing. Monetize is one of those companies. This is listed on the alternative investment market and it provides online payment services via mobile phones and other devices. Now, this is my stock in focus today because it should be a hugely successful business at the very heart of the digital economy and the digital revolution. And yet, somehow it seems to lunge from crisis to crisis. Two years ago, it bought a content business called Marco Media. Don't even ask, well, it's been in talks to sell that business because not really a core part of what it does. And those talks have been going on since March, but today it said those have now ceased. How have the shares reacted? Well, so far they're being pummeled down nearly 8% at 2.9 pence. Now the company says it believes that holding on to this content business will enhance shareholder value, which frankly would be hilarious if things hadn't been so painful for investors already. The company's shares have fallen from 80 pence in January 2014 to just 2.8 pence today. That's a disaster in my investing book. Finally, my big boss spotlight today falls on Martin Sen. He's the former chief executive at Swiss insurance giant Zurich. Now, it's been reported that Mr. Sen tragically took his own life over the weekend. Our thoughts, of course, are with his family at this time. But it is worth mentioning, too, that just three years ago, the company's chief finance officer also committed suicide. And this is not only tragic as well, but deeply worrying about the two most important managers at the same global company meeting the same fate. It has to ring alarm bells about the culture that exists within financial services firms like Zurich and how it looks after the well-being of its employees, including its most senior officials. No one's job should cause them to feel so bad that they consider taking their own life. Well, that's it. I'll be back tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, share, follow. If you have any investor questions, do drop me a line. It'd be great to hear from you. But I can't give any specific investment advice.